What's up, everybody? Today we're going to be learning to use HPL Editor Suite for Amnesia the Dark Descent. Uh, there's a couple things you're going to need, and the links will be in the dis video description. Uh, the first thing is the Amnesia Story Pack, which you'll need to uh, make a story. And you'll need HPL Editor Suite. Alright, so the first thing we're going to need to do is download the Amnesia Story Pack. Open it. Go to your Amnesia folder. Go to Redist. This is for retail version only. In Steam, it's just Amnesia the Dark Descent custom stories. Custom underscore stories. So retail, you go to Redist, custom underscore stories, and make a new folder for the map you want to name. I'm going to name mine Tutorial. And I'm going to go back to my Amnesia Story Pack zip. And I'm going to extract these four files into tutorial folder. Now that I've extracted them, I went into tutorial folder and I'm going to open custom story settings.cfg. Alright, my name of my map is going to go right here. Let's name it tutorial. I'm going to put my name right here. Whoops. And the maps folder, just maps. I'm going to put my start map as my map, my first map name, which is going to be tutorial. Dot map. And then I'm going to save. Now that I have that saved, I'm going to go into maps and I'm going to rename your map name that hps2 tutorial that hps this is a script folder file not folder now that we have that done we're going to open up hpl editor suite and you want to extract all these files to your redist folder that's retail only that you want to extract these two if you have it on steam just uh Extract to Amnesia the Dark Descent in your Steam Apps common folder. Now that you have it extracted, you want to go and find leveleditor.exe and launch it. So here's the level editor. Alright, a few things before we get started using this HPL editor. Um, Holding down Alt and pressing mouse will rotate the camera. Mouse 1. Alt and mouse 1, rotating the camera. Holding down Alt and mouse 3, which is your scroll wheel pushed down, will move around the map. Scroll wheel will go zoom in and zoom out. And if you press space, you can get a better view, which is good if you're trying to like place objects and whatnot. Alright, so let's get started. First thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need to click on this static objects button right here. It looks kinda like a Lego block. Click on it. Let's just build something simple. So let's do castle base. Whoops, not castle base, mansion base and go down and find wall and use default O2 now let's just build a really simple room and to rotate your object use W and Q Okay, now that you have your little room, as you can see with all the walls and whatnot, let's go 
ahead and put a floor. So you want to click on this one that looks like a cylinder and a triangle. It's called Primitives, which is number 9. And we're going to right click the little dot 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 here next to Material. We're going to find Static Objects. We're going to go down to Mansion Base and click on Floor. Now I'm going to use hmm, this one, the first one. And you just basically just click and drag. There you go, there's your floor. Alright, now that you got your floor on there, you need a roof. So just open back up, click the dot dot because you're at the floor, and click on ceiling. I'm going to use this one. And same basic object, you cl whoops. Click and drag, but you want it a little bit bigger than your floor. So you can click on it, click your select tool, which is number one. Select it, drag it upwards so it's towards the top. And you can barely see the map right there, like that. Now. once you've selected it and you're gonna flip it over so that the texture on the top shows up inside of the map so on the right here in general tab it's under rotation Z and you just want to do it until it's completely flat and then whoops and then just drag it back over on the top of the map or your little room you just made and you got a roof on there now, here we'll zoom in and look up so you can see there's your ceiling and that's part one of our tutorial check out my next video, thanks